I miss the kid, dude. He was great. You, you, well, really, really, people like to call him the good Ryan. But anyways, let's go into this game here. It's going to be Xenu versus Con Con. That's right. The Mario Brothers going at it once again. Yeah, the originals. Uh, Con Con and Xenu were the first to do it with their characters. And then Elegant and Master Mario kind of took up the mantles. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here we go. Oh, but dropping the conversion between the down air. Oh, oh, that's, that's uh, yeah, oh okay. okay. He's say, good. He's good. I was like, please, Xenu, don't do this to me. <laughs> For those of you guys wondering back at home what his tag actually signifies, it was the same tag that Boss from MDVA had back in Brawl. Who? And even, yeah, Boss. If you remember Boss, the, I, the Luigi. I don't. From Smash 4. All right, anyways. That's history that's been a little bit forgotten. <laughs> okay, well, a couple of the differences that we're going to see in, in this matchup is, like, of course, the use of the Zare and the Plunger. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he, Luigi didn't have that in, before, but now he's going to be able to, like, use it as an offstage trap and, of course, you know, get his grab extension from it. I like it. Zenyu gets a full cross-up after that interaction. Decides, you know what, I want to hold center stage. Don't make my approach. Good shield. And he waits for Kong Kong to make the first option here. But unfortunately, trying to go for that bear. Only allowed Kong Kong to go for the down smash. Get him. Oh, that was a oh, very, very interesting option for Kong Kong. So that would have been a mess if I would have took it. But unfortunately, that wasn't the uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, chasing with the tornado and no conversion needed. Just getting the last hit of the tornado. But it's not enough to take Zenyu's stock. Another tornado coming out from Zenyu this time. The better tornado that doesn't have invincibility but has less M like. Oh, I mean, which one is better? Definitely Luigi's. Yeah, I believe it's <laughs> I'm glad they nerfed it though. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, they did take away the invulnerability glitch or yeah. bug, where uh, the Luigi's would just keep their invulnerability. I remember always like getting hit by that and looking at Elegant and Conquer, I'm like, is that fair? And I didn't know it was a glitch. I thought it was just like that's how the move worked. They would and tell you it's fair because they're like, yeah, that's fair. Like, okay, you're right. Fox no, you're not. You're <laughs> well, that that's fair? honest. And that's not. That is not honest, man. Well, it's definitely something. It's you know what it is. It's gone. That's what it is. Okay, so checking right back into neutral. Okay, landing in there, and now Mr. Kong Kong recovering very low, but Zenyu not relenting in the pressure. He's trying to get rid of this first stock, but can't find his mark until that up smash lands. Okay. The one thing that Zenyu is kind of trying to do is make sure that Kong Kong doesn't have that space that he might be feeling comfortable with to start making approaches. Yeah. And he's kind of staying close to him. The one thing I do like that Master Mario does in this matchup here uh -huh. is he conditions Kong Kong to hold shield with fireball right. and then start to make an approach. So I feel okay. like that's what Zenyu might be resorting to a little bit, hopefully. But that's one thing that Zenyu does a little bit different than, Kong, than Master Mario. He doesn't go for as many fireballs. Okay. Well, okay, there's the big S-Mash onto the Zenyu shield and a good parry. He's just going to escape. I like that. He's not trying to be offensive. He just retreated to the ledge. Uh, creating more space between uh, himself and Zenyu. And now just opting to go for the ledge trap. But he kind of backs away, gets the grab, and there's a tornado chase sending him straight to the skies. Yeah. Okay, now going back to neutral. Okay, good back air into yeah. an F smash. And even Conklin had to reel back on that. He thought, hold on, man. I thought that glitch was still active. That is unfair. Where, mm -hmm. is, where is my fair trial? <laughs> Oh, man, Sakurai, that was I de Sakurai, I demand a retrial. Where is my invincibility? That was the, the AOL subscription that you got back in the 90s. Guess what? Your time is up. You got to pay for that now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't tell people our age, though. <laughs> people don't remember AOL. <laughs> well, I still remember pay phones, but hopefully uh, Zenyu pay the right phone here because he's looking to keep up against Con Con. Well, somebody definitely has a check to cash. And as you can see, oh, whiffing the grab right in front of Con Con. Right, look at the hop. way these two are like interacting with each other. They're both like throwing out a lot of moves, but they're well spaced to the point where even if uh, it connects to the shield or, or it just completely whips, they're mm -hmm. still safe. So no, either player does not want to overextend. But ooh, oh, the neutral getup gets caught by the up smash, and that's gonna be game one for Zenyu. That's such a classic move that Zenyu did back in Smash Four. He loved when people in the neutral getup, and he would not only do that, he would threaten people by being there because he could back air, read the oh, roll yeah, get up. Sure. For sure. Or read the, read the jump get up, neutral get up. He had so many options every time he did that back in Smash 4, and it just goes to show that that option still proves very viable for him. Okay, well, what's Con Con's pick going to be? He's opting to run it back to Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. Yo, oh look, I'm going to be real when we all said about our dress code this time. If you're watching the BTS Smash stream over there at the time, I love how Miho dressed this weekend. This man is so festive, rocking the USA jersey, and then today he's rocking like a nice floral print. This man knows how to dress for the occasion. Is that how Mango dresses? Somebody was in the same robe that Mango wears. When he yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was uh, that was noodles. Yeah, it was noodles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so starting out game two, you can see a decent start for Zenyu. You know, he's able to get one conversion and rack up 24%. Yeah. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Nice, gets the grab immediately. Doesn't even go for another aerial. Just wants to get the grab and check him. Good, empty hop. That's one of my favorite things about Zenyu. He loves when, he loves to go for these empty hops and then see what his opponent's going to react to. He oh. likes to check your first move first. Mm -hmm. Almost like a chess master, one would say. Okay, well... I mean, I just love the way aggr the aggression that's all really coming out from Zenyu. He's putting out like a lot of big hip or long lasting hitboxes that are getting uh, like soft hits, and he's just able to follow up. Even though he's only like getting a lot of small hits here and there, he just racked up yeah. and put Konkon on like over 123 percent, and then just trapped him off stage. Mm -hmm. Nice, good landing there, and he actually went to the platform and just kind of delay himself a little bit. And I do like that drift he has with every single dare he goes for. He kind of makes sure that he's not going to get punished afterwards. The one thing, though, that KonKon's kind of struggling here is to find his footing. He's, mm -hmm. like, he's able to finally escape from that combo, but that put him in such a bad position to be on that platform and allows him to get for these up airs. <laughs> I mean, Mario looking like Smash 4 Mario. He just continued to up air. It looked like he only had one move <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was usable at that time. But, okay, still having the second jump. Not going to mm -hmm. be able to make it back. Good forward air from KonKon. Kind of kind of rubs the sweat off his hands because he was looking really sweaty there earlier. Oh, was so he? The, yeah. yeah. You tell, tell me about it. Look at this percent, man. He's got <laughs> so much of a relief on him. <laughs> I'd love to tell you, man, but I can only show you what's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, landing is there on Zenyu's shield. Now, okay, back air, landing for Zenyu. My heart stops every time like Zenyu throws out a fireball and like clashes with Konkon's green oh, missile. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, is he gonna be able to make it back? Does he still have his second jump? Good spacing, gets a whip punish here, immediately up throw to down air. And I like the fact he checks with Konkon's landing, but unfortunately Konkon felt the platform was a little more safe this time around. You know about these S smashes from Konkon, they keep getting punished with like just short hop back air into Zenyu combos. Yeah. The one thing that Konkon is trying to do is land with an aerial and sometimes better reset yourself at the ledge because your opponent cannot combo you the minute you got that ledge. You have to go ahead and set up to the one of the five options you might get. Of course. Yeah. Getting that full powered green missile. Yeah. Good up smash and he reads the wall got up. Zenyu will take this two stock in hand and still continues the lead he had over Konkon back in Smash 4. So do you think Zenyu is better because he's been playing more melee? Let me ask him. Zenyu, Dustin. Let's ask the man himself. Okay. The man of the hour. Impromptu interview. Do you think you're better because you've been playing more melee? I do. Yeah, well, he, he, does. Yes. he does. Wow, he does. Wow, just straight up. <laughs> okay, Works here, both let, let, ways. Works both ways. Tell, 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 tell yeah, tell, talk to the people. Let me hear for a straight from the man himself, Master Zenu X, first seed of the pool. Hello. Hello, Z Fly. That's right. You just advanced in the top 48. Congratulations, sir. Well, thank you very much. And you look very uh, spiffy yourself. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So tell me, why does uh, why does it work both ways? Well, I think that it helps you um, be used to a perspective you haven't really seen before. Uh -huh. I mean, in terms of melee, it's so much faster, so it made forced me to be more reactionary okay. in some ways. So you'd say it like, improved your reaction time? It, and Yeah, but it also improved my defensive awareness because you have so much more options. Like, you can, like, get hit and then... Mm -hmm. Fall on a platform, tech on the platform, fall down right, right away. So there's like a lot of little uh, nuances like that. that okay. That opens my perspective up. All right. But I think it's also interesting when I see melee players play ultimate, they say the same thing. <laughs> That's true. Because it's slower and it's uh, forcing them to be more calculated, I guess. Yeah, you definitely have to take uh, a lot more into account when the game is slower just because you have more more time to like process everything. But exactly. at the same time, that just adds more pressure. <laughs> yeah, in a way. Melee is just like everything's happening so yeah, fast. Yeah, you just have to react. and you just If you can't keep up, then you know it's game over. Exactly. But here, if you, uh, you, it's almost like a guessing game because you say, like, okay, we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. And if I throw out scissors and you throw out paper, then I've won. Yeah. But if you throw out rock, then uh, I could be, you know, it could be a bad time. <laughs> exactly. It, it is very RPS. I mean, the RPS is a lot slowed down. <laughs> An ultimate. I mean, yeah. there's definitely a uh, RPS element to melee, mm -hmm. but it just happens so much faster. You just yeah. have to be able to be able to uh, um, like take apart someone's habits quicker. Okay. Yeah. So it helped me in that regard. Uh, well, we definitely saw that come into play against your match against Concon. Well, thank you. So again, congratulations. We'll see you a little bit later in Top 48. Thank you, man. Appreciate right, it. What stuff. time does Top 48 start? Uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Vance. Wow. All right. So again, congratulations to Zenyu for advancing to Top 48. Y'all see him in a little bit as uh, you know, he gets to take a small break. Yep. That's the unfortunate part about having like the last pool of the bracket is mm -hmm. the, the break between um, the next part of the bracket 
And yeah. the end of pools is very short. So, if, you know, if you need to get food or something, you don't really have that much as much time. time. But then again, I don't know if you want, like, the opposite side of that coin, which is, like, having the first bracket and oh, then just yeah, being done for hours. <laughs> I, I remember Hugs like made a tweet a little while back. He's like, "This is why I don't do dubs anymore. I don't want to have to get up at, 11, at like nine in the morning to do dubs. Yeah, and I just sleep in and then do my pool at three o'clock and then have more time to relax, get a good breakfast. Yeah, I mean, it makes play. sense. Yeah. So if I, you know, I, if, especially if you don't really enjoy dubs that much. Yeah, like it's it's really not worth it. But here we have Kameme versus Spanky, mm -hmm. and if I remember correctly, Spanky is the third seed of that pool, so I believe he took uh, the set over Chudat. Yeah. So that was cool. And, of course, we have Kamehameha, you know, rocking the Mega Man, the super fighting robot. Oh, man, I still remember that E3, how hyped that was. When D1 just, just yelled it out there and let the world know, man, Mega Man is here. <laughs> everyone is here now, but. Yeah, everyone's here. Well, almost everyone. We still have four more newcomers. This character has 80. This game has uh, 80 characters. That's, that's crazy. 80 plus characters. You know, some, some would argue that's too many. You Some. know, but the, that's what kind of, that's why I tell people like I think my favorite format that I would love to see a little bit more often is gonna be um, squad strike. I uh, like that three v three concept of like you know having your best team, practically Yu Yu Hakusho. If you guys have ever seen that show, uh -huh. the, the dark tournament arc, uh, that's kind of what I like to see. But we'll, what we're seeing here so far is Kamei making a really good opportunity. Just hey, Smack, if you want to stay that far from me, I'm the one with the lead. You have to make the approach. I mean, almost a completely full stock. Yeah, almost getting like or now getting left in percent, but. Yeah, Spanky wants to play the defensive game. Kamehameha will abide by that game. Yeah. Oh, getting running off with the back air, putting Spanky in that tech situation, but a couple of up tilts are not going to be able to follow up. Yeah. It's good for Spanky to understand that, you know what, I have the tech, so I can make make sure I make the recovery right and then you need to respond to it. Spanky with the back air, the second one putting Kamehameha off the stage. Oh. I like the down smash, but Kamehameha was not going to go for the up B just yet. He wanted to make sure he was having a safe passage by three in the middle.